Wiring works have begun to connect some communities in the central Gonja district to the national grid. Also, 50 communities in the district can now access portable water after the desilting of a dam. This development follows a report by TV3 on the infrastructure needs of some residents in the northern region. A report by Eva Atiboga. This was what the news team discovered when they visited some communities in July 2016. Residents were unhappy about the lack of power supply, a situation that affected peoples who had to track to adjoining communities to study. Sometimes they may access to read, like read this topic. There will be a question under them. Go and read there. You will not have life to read. After you can walk from here to Yapala, it's far, far distance. After you come back, you can wake up from Yapala to here. You use more than one hour, one hour, 45 minutes from that distance. After you came, we are get, we close around two o'clock. By the time you reach, you reach here around 4:45 or 4, going five. You can use that hours to study. Electricity poles had been erected without any sign of wiring. Few months after TV3's report, wiring works have commenced to connect the communities to the national grid. The chiefs and people say they are grateful to TV3. However, they want the government to expedite action on deplorable roads. The road is nothing to write home about. The inhabitants here are all farmers. It is very difficult to get our farm products even to the commercial areas for uh, maybe our livelihood. Some residents at Kusogu can heave a sigh of relief after TV3 reported on the poor state of a dam that serves as a source of water for over 50 communities. This was the situation when TV3 visited Kusogu in the central Gonja district in July this year. Cows and these donkeys and everything, they have been there. The women cannot, uh, they can't find the water for us to go and drink. Because of the shitting inside the water. And now we are taking everything. No water. We don't have any good water to drink. A local purification method was a treatment option for many, but many residents were compelled to drink the water untreated since they said they simply could not access the chemicals for purification. They complained and were treated for waterborne diseases. Residents said the dam, constructed in the 1950s, had not been desilted for several decades. But months after TV3 report, chief of the area, Kusogura Samuel Sulemana, says the community now has water in abundance. When the report was presented to you, some few weeks, the district assembly brought some uh, a caterpillar. I also went and hired another one. So they were two in the uh, river and they did it well. Now we don't face any problem. The dump, it can contain water for a long period. The chief and people expressed gratitude to TV3 and the district assembly.